All right, we're going to jump to chapter three. You slip under the plastic panel and have to pause as overpowering hunger gnaws at your belly and your head. Something smells delicious. For a moment, it's the only thing you can think about. Gory, your friend. Old pirate, it's good to see you. Ah, you're smelling gory and he's dripping with flavor. Now, normally I would be able to sort of get a hold of myself, but I do not have enough brains points left in my head to do that. So I'm going to have to tell him, okay, well, I admit, my hunger's controlling me. Now, now, calm, calm, friend. I have some slime, but what you need is a ruthless interrogation of your inner self. Oh, man, I just want to ask him for the slime, but again, not enough brain power, so I'm going to tell him uh, that I'm going to serve him as his servant forever if he gives me the food. That would be nice. Maybe someday. He reaches a slim arm through the crack, holding a gobbit of slime. When hunger overtakes my failing self-control, so... Uh, you found that you have grabbed his savory smelling arm without trying. Okay, there's my monstrous instinct. And they're like, I, like, I'm really fighting against my brains here, which I just, like, I have nothing. I'm starving, and I am just gonna have to eat my friend's arm. You grab Gory's arm and tug with delirious strength. The fear washing through him smells even more appetizing. The terrified monsterling proves quite elastic. Oh, chomp! Well, I gained some flesh and guts back. And I think I just ate him. You pull, and Gory's paw complete, uh, comes completely off. Chomp. So good. 